Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit of a different type of video. I kind of know it's like almost the end of the summer but I figured um, it would be kind of cool to put together a like beach essentials uh, bag, what I carry in my beach bag, that sort of thing. Um, maybe you can pick up some things that you picked up or that you use in your beach bag, maybe that I'm missing. I have a lot of items here and one really special item that I want to talk about. So. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Karina. I do videos on makeup, fashion, lifestyle, whatever I'm kind of feeling in the moment, and I will leave my Instagram linked up here somewhere, uh, so make sure to follow along on my Instagram, and yeah, let's just get started in the video. Okay, so the first sort of item that I want to talk about is actually a bag. Now, um, there's different types of beach bags that you can get. It's really up to you on what you want. I sometimes use a backpack, I use an over-the-shoulder bag, I use a duffel. Like, it really depends on how long I'm planning on going to the beach for, if I have to carry multiple things with me, if I'm sharing a beach bag with somebody. It really just depends on um, the type of day and kind of what I'm feeling. So that's the first thing that you're going to need to get because all the items that I'm showing you today need to go inside of that bag. So the next item that I would say is probably a pretty pretty given item that you should get for your beach bag is a bathing suit. So normally I end up bringing two bathing suits with me. Um, I know it seems a little extra but I usually end up wearing a bathing suit to the beach and then knowing me, I it probably has some sort of strap on it. So I always end up bringing with me some sort of strapless bathing suit um, because I don't like getting tan lines. So I figured that uh, bringing a strapless one with me to quickly change into um, really depends on kind of what your plan is for the beach. Like if you plan on just tanning or if you plan on going swimming, whatever. So I always bring two different ones with me. I always uh, bring or wear a pair of really cheap flip-flops with me. Uh, ones, I think I got these at Walmart for like six or seven dollars. So make sure to bring an extra pair of flip-flops or shoes with you um, that you don't mind getting sandy, dirty, um, that sort of thing. Always bring a hat. Um, I love either a baseball hat, a sun hat, some sort of hat to use while you're sitting there because the last thing you want is to be on the beach and have sun in your face. Maybe you're not bringing an umbrella, um, something to kind of hide and shade your face a little bit. So I always like to bring a hat with me. You can also bring a baseball hat that fits right inside your bag too. Um, it really just depends. I really love this hat. It's from Urban Outfitters. Kind of gives you shade all the way around um, and I think it's super cute too. The next thing I bring with me um, is I'll, I always pack an extra change of clothes. I always bring a pair of shorts and either a tank top or t-shirt or a dress. I usually end up wearing a bathing suit cover up when I go to the beach. So that's something that you can either bring or you can uh, keep in your bag. It's totally up to you. But I always bring a change of clothes uh, with some undergarments to go with it uh, just in case like I always kind of like getting out of my bathing suit before I end up going home, whether it's driving or walking or whatever, wherever we are. But I always bring some shorts and a t-shirt, tank top, something for you to change into once you're done at the beach that isn't a bathing suit or a cover-up. Um, most likely because your bathing suit cover-up and everything will be kind of covered in sunscreen and you're not going to particularly want to sit in that if you're driving home or... Any of that anything like that so definitely bring a change of clothes now when you're sitting at the beach you're gonna need something to do so I always like to bring either my iPad with a book on it some magazines I usually always obviously have my phone so I bring my headphones with me so these are three items that you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do but if you're planning on spending the day at a beach you're most likely gonna to want to bring something to do while you're kind of relaxing now you can listen to an audiobook you can bring a physical book you can download like an ebook. It's totally up to you, but I definitely recommend something to bring to do while you're sitting at the beach. Um, it's up to you on kind of like what your plans are. Um, a lot of people sometimes bring like a football or a soccer ball or something you can kind of play catch with. Um, that's something that obviously doesn't fit inside of your beach bag, but I always like bringing a book with me. Um, gives me something to do and I can catch up on my reading. A uh, magazine too. Whatever you're interested in, but I definitely recommend something to do while you're kind of sitting and relaxing. 
Now the next couple items are more like self-care. I definitely recommend bringing some sunscreen. So I really like the uh, Kula uh, Face Classic Face Sport um, SPF 50. Um, this is the moisturizing sunscreen for your face. I always, always, always bring uh, like one of those spray sunscreens where you can spray it all over. Um, but definitely bring sunscreen with you. You don't want to go without it. Um, it'll definitely save your skin and it's, it's really good for you. So bring some sort of sunscreen that you can reapply throughout the day. I always bring some sort of face wipe, whether it's like a makeup wipe or um, just like a baby wipe or something because uh, I like to kind of like wash my face once in a while. I don't wear makeup to the beach, so that's another thing. I don't bring extra makeup to, to put on, um, but definitely bring some sort of wipe. I at least like to like, especially hand sanitizer or things like that, like to wash your hands, a wipe to wash your hands, like something along those lines. I bring a hairbrush with me because we all know when we go to the beach our hair can be kind of disgusting sometimes if, if you're in salt. I mean here in Ontario we've got the lake so it's not salty but like when I'm away on vacation there's always like my hair feels gross and it's all ugh, icky. So I always bring a hairbrush with me to kind of try and brush through whatever my hair has got going on. Um, I always like to pack snacks with me. Um, I pack tons and tons and tons and tons of snacks. I like to be over prepared for snacks and under prepared and um, I always pack a water bottle so that's something. I usually have a swell water bottle which you can kind of see sitting in the background there next to my bed. I always carry my swell water bottle with me so make sure to bring some sort of water bottle with you uh, that you can refill after. Okay so the very last item that I want to include in this Beach Essentials video is obviously a towel. So I want to give a huge shout out to Go Breezy for sending me this towel. I did a little review on it. I took it to the beach when I was there at the cottage. I will insert some clips after this so you can kind of see all the details. But the Go Breezy towel is easy to dry, sand doesn't stick to it, it kind of compacts and is in this little tiny bag. And thanks to Go Breezy, I got you all a 12% off coupon. Just enter Karina, so literally C-A-R-I-N-A. -I, I will also leave it in the description box below. So this towel is absolutely perfect for going to the beach. It comes with this drawstring bag. Um, you can get it in so many different patterns and colors. And whatever you're kind of feeling, it packs in this like really nice bag and it folds up so easy. Like it's perfect to fit inside your beach bag. There's no more rolling it and trying to figure out how it's gonna fit or carrying it separately. But this towel is absolutely perfect. This is the style of Namaste. Um, so it has this really nice pattern on it. If you go check out my Instagram, I have a picture of me uh, with the towel when we went to the beach. But like I said, the sand doesn't stick to it. Or you pick your own style, it's perfect for the beach, for the pool, um, wherever you need a beach towel for, but it's got this really nice fabric to it that it feels really nice and dense, but it's not heavy, which I love because sometimes with beach towels they can get and they can really weigh you down. But this one is absolutely perfect. They're designed to be sand, sand free, super absorbent, rapid dry, uh, compact like I said. So really everything that you want in a beach towel, like these are perfect. So if you have like, if you're planning on going somewhere after the beach, you don't have to worry about this soaking wet towel sitting in your car or on your bike or in your backpack in your beach bag because they dry super fast. And the one thing that I also really love about these ones is they actually have this strap that you can hang it once you're done. You can hang it and you can just hang it on a hook and it will dry. So no more hooking it on top of your hook or anything like that damaging the towel. It just hooks right like this. So like I said, I've got some clips of me using in the sand and how quickly it dries and everything from when I went to the beach. You can go to their website, go breezy, and you can get yourself a towel and you might as well use up that coupon code because we all like coupon codes. So stay tuned to see like how quickly the sand comes off, how great they are, roughly the size. Um, I show you all in the next couple clips the details on the towel itself. And so I want to thank Go Brazy for sending me the towel. I hope you all enjoyed sort of like my beach essentials uh, kind of putting it all together bag. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I have for today. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you on my next one. Bye!